As the investigation at the site of the crash continues, experts in Paris have been analyzing material gathered from the aeroplane's cockpit voice recorder. The New York Times and a French news agency are both claiming that it shows one of the aircraft's pilots left the cockpit and was then unable to get back in before the Airbus crashed. These pictures show inside the cabin of another Airbus A320. It's claimed the pilot was in the cabin outside the cockpit, knocking repeatedly, but there was no answer. In reality, obviously, the person leaving must have said something to the other crew member. Um, there must be um, voices recorded as well, which will explain, to some degree at least, um, what was going on and what was happening. And that information, well, there is now much greater pressure for some full statement, official statement, to be released. Lufthansa says the co-pilot joined German wings in 2013, directly after training. The captain had more than 6,000 hours of flying time. The families of the dead are travelling to the crash site. Those from Barcelona chose not to fly. The German relatives left from Dusseldorf airport. Around 100 people from both groups are to visit the site. They'll go to the small French town, which is now the hub of a major air crash investigation. As they do so, experts have been pointing out that claims that one of the pilots left the cockpit before the crash are unconfirmed. Lufthansa says flight deck procedures, which are in line with German law, do allow crew to leave the cockpit for short periods. Back in the German town of Holton, pupils and staff who lost 16 classmates and two teachers have been holding a minute's silence. Today may bring more clues, including more detail about what's on the voice recorder. Lisa Hampley, BBC News.